welcome to the channel if you are new here welcome to this family and if you've been here thank you so much for the support that you have been showing through a subscription a like a comment a message in any social media platform i really appreciate it and i trust and believe that you are still okay you're still doing good and the hand of god that is never too short to reach us is upon you and providing you with all your needs right so this is our second episode i apologize for taking so long to upload right i struggle a lot with consistency it is not easy for me um to just pick up my phone and and record the ideas are there um the content is there but it's it's difficult right um, so on today's episode we're going to talk about wisdom and understanding because you cannot say that you are wise without understanding you cannot say you understand without acquiring the understanding from wisdom first of all i'm going to start by defining wisdom i'm going to define it from the world's perspective which is a dictionary definition or just a general definition and from a jesus ambassador's perspective the first um, definition which is of the world it says that it is the ability to give good judgment based on knowledge experience and understanding that is the world definition now the jesus ambassador's definition it says that wisdom is the knowledge of god and a life lived for god right let us reverse back to the definition of the world where it says that it is the ability to give good judgment based on experience knowledge and understanding number one judgment is not for us whether it's good judgment whether it's bad judgment right judgment is for god it talks about that good judgment now is based on knowledge on experience and understanding it is based on what you have experienced what you understand the knowledge that you know right so um i do not agree as a jesus ambassador um so i see it going against what god wants us to be because of number one you don't lean on your own understanding you don't lean on your own knowledge you lean on god's you become a fool in the world and then you seek to be wise right you desire to be wise in god's in god's ways of doing things or in his kingdom right so that is the definition of the world now the definition of jesus and passover or the one that god um revealed to me is, it says that it is is the knowledge of god and the way lived for god it means that whatever that you do you lean on god you do not lean on your experiences you do not lean on your own understanding you do not lean on your own knowledge but the knowledge of god so you take time and acquire the knowledge of god for the word of god says that we are perishing because of lack of knowledge so wisdom according to god it says that we need to take time and acquire god's knowledge and live a life that is for god that way we shall acquire wisdom right so we got that in addition the book of proverbs chapter 9 verse 20 it says that the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom and the fear of the holy one is understanding so that's why i was saying that understanding and wisdom goes hand in hand right so for you you can't say that you fear god without acquiring god's wisdom reading his word merit spending time with him being intimate with him being one with him you can't say that you fear god without understanding god's ways of doing things without living a life that is for god right of first corinthians chapter 1 verse 25 states that the foolishness of god is wiser than men's wisdom and the weakness of god is stronger than men's strength so what it basically means is that if your wisdom is based on this world then to god you are a fool of the fullest because god's foolishness now becomes much more wiser than the wisdom that you, that of this world that you will be living in and again it says that if you think that you are strong according to this world then to god you are the weakest of the weakest because god's weakness now it is much more stronger than your strength of this world right in on god in all that we do you to trust in him with with your whole heart with your whole soul 
build your whole mind and you will make your path straight therefore you don't lean on your own understanding you don't lean on your own experience you don't lean on your own knowledge but on god and you understand that if you base your knowledge on this world then you are the full of the fullest if you base your strength on this world you are the weak of the weakest and if you base your understanding of this world you are the dumb of the dumb right i'm sure you are seeing yourself how can you really acquire this wisdom how can you really acquire the, the wisdom first of all you need to reconnect with the holy spirit right you need to work on your relationship of reconnecting with the holy spirit make sure that your relationship with the holy spirit is one right the holy spirit is like a telephone or rather a network for you to get to the sun i get the sun is our mediator is our mediator to get our message to god so if you have no connection with the holy spirit god's word will not be revealed or will not be interpreted correctly to you um the holy spirit will not reveal things to you because you are disconnected to it and then be able to reach the sun because you are disconnected to the holy spirit first corinthians chapter 2 verse 14 says that the man without the spirit does not accept the things that come from the spirit of god right so if you are not connected with the holy spirit you will not be able to accept what the what the spirit has to offer you or what the spirit gives you right and then it continues saying that for they are foolish to him and cannot understand them because they are spiritually discerned so if you're not connected to the holy spirit you cannot understand what the spirit is saying you'll be totally dumb it will be like a foreign knowledge when the holy spirit speaks to you maybe through a scripture through through a prophet through anyone else if it comes from the spirit and you're not connected with the holy spirit you will not understand it it will become a foreign language to you on the second point you need to be one with god right the the word of god when it explains he says that you gonna when you are sleeping with a prostitute right you become one with them because number one sex is spiritual so you become one with them right so when you unite with the prostitute you become one with the prostitute but when you unite with god you become one with god so you need to seek you need to 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 give yourself time with god be intimate with god understand the word of god understand the voice of god understand the the commandments of god and and put them into practice you know and do what god wants you to do not what men want you to do not what the world wants you to do let people understand that this one is jesus that jesus this right then there is absolutely nothing wrong with that moving on we need to keep god's commandment that's it right the word of god if you go to first corinthians chapter 7 verse verse 19 right verse 19 it says that circumcision is nothing and uncircumcision is nothing keeping god's commandment is what counts so whether you appear to be good or you appear to be bad it does not matter what matters is keeping god's commandment so if you don't keep god's commandment then you are nothing whether you look good whether you look modest whether you look like a perfect piece but if you don't keep god's commandment then you are nothing so even in in wisdom you need to keep god's commandment you need to do what god tells you to do remember you don't lean on yourself you become a fool in this world when people of this world look at you they must see a fool right about what they should say no man or sat he then you should know that when you appear to be sat on this world then in in the kingdom of god you are acquiring why wisdom you are acquiring understanding we need to practice god's way of living it goes back to saying that we must treat our bodies as the temple of god so first corinthians chapter 3 chapter 3 verse 16 to 17 it reads as follows do you don't you know that you yourself are god's temple and god's spirit lives in you if anyone destroys god's temple god will destroy him for god's temple is sacred and 
you are that temple don't put in the things that are not supposed to be in your body it says that it is sacred so you protect it by all means you treat it as a temple you make sure that your body is healthy you make sure that your body it, it takes in things that are good for the temple and you also need to put into consideration that this body of yours has the holy spirit so you do not take in any spirit you do not take in any spirit that that, that 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 is against the holy spirit right you protect that is the holy spirit that is within you make the holy spirit that is within you to grow stronger understand that you are living for god not for this world right because the word of god says that if you don't take care of this temple then god will destroy it when god destroys your body he destroys you i'm sure you don't want that right so you need to keep your body as a temple of god protect it as a woman as a woman cover your body as a woman respect your body as a woman be be modest right as a man cover your body as a man you know just respect yourself respect your body so that when you pass there i must be able to say indeed that is a child of god you shouldn't you shouldn't even say it to me let me see it not only respecting it from the outside but also from the inside um lastly right. you also need to understand that you are free right you are free you have been brought at the price what do i mean by that it means that you have weaknesses but those weaknesses god will show himself through him i'm not saying that you should now do things um on purpose or do things deliberately for the sake of you want god to show himself remember you don't have to, you you shouldn't test god but you need to understand that you are you are you are unlearning some things you are not perfect and god will show himself through those um, weaknesses and the devil has no power over you no matter how many weaknesses you have um, the devil has no power over you you have been brought at the price so um, you need to understand as the word of God says that God take the weakest um, and, and use them. God takes the, the poorest and use them, you know. So God basically shows himself through our weaknesses because we have been brought at the price. Not just the price, the blood of Jesus. There is no any other price in this world or any way that can, that can equate to that, right? There is no rival to the God that we serve in so you need to understand that you don't need to be this perfect person you need to be to acknowledge your weaknesses work on them and allow god to show himself through those weaknesses right so now in terms of understanding i'm gonna i'm gonna relate it to the spiritual gift um while i was reading the bible in the book of first corinthians if god says that we must pray for prophecy because true prophecy um someone will be able to understand me let's say right now i was doing this video in in tongues you wouldn't understand me you wouldn't even reach to the one minute of this video because you wouldn't understand what i'm saying you automatically become uninterested that is the message that the word of god trying to to give to us that let us pray that what do we give or what or when we preach the kingdom of god let us be so understanding that it recruits more believers it makes the kingdom of god to grow make sure that we understand the word of god and once i have understood when i speak it to someone else you must also be able to understand me right so that is it for this video i encourage you as we have crossed like we have or we are already done with half of the year i encourage you that you take your time be intimate with god be intimate with the holy spirit take your time to to acquire god's knowledge take your time to acquire god's understanding take your time to acquire um god's god's wisdom you know and that way don't lean on yourself as we entering into the another half of the year please seek that wisdom seek that understanding and god will make your path straight so i'll see you on the next video thank you so much for watching and i trust and believe that you will find courage and understanding um in this video and also it will encourage you seek wisdom to seek understanding according to god way of doing things bye jesus ambassadors <laughs>